Welcome to today's episode of Tech Talk Unplugged, where we explore the intersection of technology and everyday life. I'm your host, and today we're diving into the world of document translation tools, specifically a unique project that has recently garnered attention, PD2ZH. Have you ever found yourself needing to translate a PDF but getting frustrated with how hard it can be? Well, imagine a tool that not only translates documents but also maintains their original structure, complete with charts, tables, and annotations. That's what PD2ZH aims to accomplish, making it possible to translate documents while ensuring that all the important elements stay intact. To kick things off, let me summarize what PDDH offers. This tool supports multiple languages and comes with various interfaces, like a command line option, a graphical user interface, and even Docker support. It promises an easy integration into your existing setups. For those not technically inclined, there's even a free online service you can use. Now, isn't that handy? Now let's break this down a bit more. One interesting feature is how PD2ZH allows the user to specify source and target languages effortlessly. You can set up the translation service of your choice too, whether it's Google, Bing, DeepL, or even some lesser known options. Just imagine the flexibility you would have. If you needed to translate an academic paper from English to Chinese, for instance, just input the command and voila, the translated document is generated, bilingual and all. I think this leads us to an interesting point. Think about the implications of such technology. What do you think it means for students, researchers, or even professionals working in multicultural environments? They now have tools at their disposal that empower them to break language barriers, opening up a world of knowledge that once felt too distant. As we delve deeper, let's not overlook the fact that this tool also allows for a certain level of customization. For example, if you have specific sections of text that need preserving, like formulas in scientific papers, you can easily do that with PD2ZH's rejects functionality. It's like having a translation assistant who understands not only the language, but also the context of what's being translated. But what about updates? Well, the development team behind PD2ZH seems quite proactive. Just recently, they shared some exciting improvements such as enhanced support for Italian in the GUI and the ability to share deployed services with others. So it's constantly evolving, which is great to see in open source projects. Now, a question for our listeners. How much do you rely on translation tools and what have been your experiences with them? Feel free to share your thoughts with us on social media or in our community forums. Before we wrap up, let's summarize the magic of PD2ZH. We've discussed how it preserves document integrity during translation, its multi-language support, user-friendly interfaces, and its ability to adapt to various user needs. The potential for empowering individuals and organizations through seamless translations is amazing, turning what used to be a tedious task into a simple process. And with that, I hope you found today's exploration of PD2ZH both informative and inspiring. Let's keep pushing the boundaries of technology to make our lives easier and more connected. Thank you for tuning in, and don't forget to join us next time for more insights into the world of technology.